how to make an annotation family. Uh, what we're going to start with is an electrical light symbol. Um, for example, uh, if you have uh, an electrical component such as a switch uh, or a plug outlet, they come with as a component an insertable component and come with a three-dimensional uh, portion for the model. But if you want to simply do uh, an annotation symbol for a light, for example, we can make that as a family and have it um, reusable down the road. So this one right here is a light fixture ceiling mounted. We're going to make a wall mounted light fixture to put beside the fireplace. So we start by going up to the big R and we're going to create a new family. and that opens up our family uh, template selection. We're going to be in uh, metric under English and I'm going to start with annotation and I'm going to just make a generic metric generic annotation family. So that opens up and it just reminds us uh, that we have to make sure that we're responsible for setting the correct category for our, for our um, family. Um, this one is simply an annotation symbol so it's I put it in the correct family and that this crosshairs here is the insertion point so that's our reminder note and to delete, delete that before we start. So I'm going to zoom in on this it's going to be a fairly small scale symbol. Uh, so I'm going to create and I'm going to draw some lines here. I'm going to make a circle from the center point here. It's a three millimeter diameter circle so I'll put in 1.5 uh, and you'll notice that the line weight it does look maybe thick there, but if you check, it's just a generic annotations line type, and it will read properly. It actually turns out fairly fine on the drawing. And so since this is a wall-mounted light, I'll go back to create and draw a straight line. I'm going to put a leg on that, um, and I think I'll move this. I'm going to just go a millimeter. And since this is a wall mount and not a ceiling mount, I'm going to move that so the end point is my insertion point. So that when I bring this symbol in, I can pick it here and then I can flip it or rotate it around. That's the part that would be attached to the wall. Uh, so it's as simple as that. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to load it into the project. I've got a couple of projects open, so I'll make sure I put it in the correct one. And yes, I do. I want to save it now. I'm going to put this into a location on my computer uh, that I will have access to. So it's a stored Revit family location. So I've got a place here, GW Revit families. I made a ceiling mounted light. This time we're going to do a wall mounted light. Okay, so light wall mounted, save. And now it's, you can see the handle by which I'm holding on to it it's coming in here and I can hit the space bar to rotate it around that insertion point and so I'm going to put one on this side of the fireplace and one on this side equally spaced Oops. and there we go so I've got uh, my light symbols in there now if you ever want to load these again because these exist only as an annotation symbol and not a component we can't insert them as a component like the switches um, so what we do is we just go back to the uh, project browser on the left and I am looking at, I'm going to scroll down to families. There it is. So there's the families down near the bottom is families and I just expand that families group. And if I go into uh, the light fixture, the wall mounted light will be there. Let me just find it. Light. There it is. Sorry. That was the uh, ceiling mounted one I had done before. Now the wall mounted one is right here. So if I want to put that in the drawing again, I go to my family's uh, menu, expand it out, find the one I want, and then just drag it in. And then it's editable. And again, you just flip it around however you want. If I wanted the ceiling light, I just drag it in and so on.